You don't get a second chance to make a first impression. Professional introductions can build your network or they can tear it down. They can change the course of a relationship or be terribly forgotten. Learn more in today's Live at the Gym. Hi, I'm Dale Fallon, and welcome to the first Live at the Gym for 2022. This is where we work out our communication muscles so that we can improve the quality of our conversation. And before we meet today's guests, let me share two dictionary definitions with you. Merriam-Webster says that the definition of introduce is to make known by formal act or to cause to be acquainted. And the definition of heralding is to announce, to greet with enthusiasm, to publicize, or to signal the approach of. Now, which of these sounds better to you? Would you rather be introduced or would you rather be heralded? We all know that a flat introduction will hinder good conversation. And whether you have introduced 200 people in the last week or two people in the last 10 years, we can help you to improve those introductions. In today's Live at the Gym, we will show you how to turn your boring introductions into exciting heralds. So before we bring our guests in, let's talk about what a herald is. The quick definition it really is for the communication gym, a simple framework that builds credibility, common ground, and connection. These are the three simple components that anyone can use to make an effective herald. What do we mean by credibility? It is the demonstration of expertise. We want you to share some expertise or something that brings credibility to the table of the, per the person that you're introducing. Common ground, things that they have in common. This is what people traditionally think of in common ground. Do they play golf? Do they go to the same school? Do they support the same sports team? And connection, why are you introducing them? There's a reason you're introducing, and it might be as simple as, hey, I think you guys would get along great and make good friends, or this is an accountant, and you're a business owner, and I know you need an accountant, so be specific about why you're making that introduction. So with that being said, it's a pretty straightforward process. Why don't we bring in today's guest? I want to welcome Daryl Staley and Nathan Imboden. These are two young men who are high achievers in their chosen field. Uh, they are both constantly seeking to improve their skills and have demonstrated that as they practiced in the gym. And they are here today to share their experiences and their expertise with our audience and live at the gym. So Daryl and Nathan, welcome. Let's get Daryl in here. There he is. I see you. <laughs> How are you guys doing today? Excellent. Good. Thanks, Dale. Good. Awesome. Appreciate having you here. Um, Daryl, tell us a little bit about yourself and your company and um, what you do. Yeah, so I, my name is Daryl Staley. I'm a tax manager with SEK CPAs and Advisors. We have, uh, we're an accounting firm with about 180 folks, probably growing to 200 and above now. It's that it's, uh, the calendar has changed and we're approaching our busy season. Tis the season, right? Yeah, we have six offices throughout central Pennsylvania, or excuse me, six offices in total, five in central Pennsylvania and one in Hagerstown, Maryland. My expertise is focusing in small business, so I'll serve as like a business consultant, um, helping clients achieve their goals and focusing a lot of my time on helping small businesses and individuals mitigate taxes and navigating through that world. Awesome. Thanks for coming. Nathan, tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah. So I am the uh, president of an organization called Questmont. We are a um, high end wealth management and boutique virtual family office. Uh, that has offices in central Pennsylvania here in Camp Hill and down in Tampa, Florida. Uh, we are an 18 person uh, practice right now, uh, grown from seven in 2018 to uh, 18 today, uh, and hopefully strategically a little bit more. Uh, our firm traditionally has uh, provided wealth management uh, services, so retirement planning, tax planning, estate planning, and whatnot to um, individuals, but uh, increasingly our specialization is, is focused more on business owners and helping to prepare for an eventual exit and succession strategies, uh, helping to build a more efficient business and then exit it on their terms. Awesome. Important, important for business owners, right? Both of you are mm -hmm. important uh, roles in the business owner community and, and, uh, and, and it's great to have you here. One of the main reasons I have you here is because my perception is that you're both pretty good networkers and you do a lot of networking. You're out and about in your communities and connecting people in a lot of 
uh, different circumstances. So um, I thought we'd have a quick conversation about how you've used heralding. Daryl, it's, it's newer to you than it is to Nathan. So uh, you've, you've been starting to introduce it in your world. Tell us a little bit about how, how you've used it and what impact you've seen. Yeah, I use heralding, uh, you know, a lot, um, especially recently. Um, we, for many reasons, uh, there's opportunities for me to refer my clients to, to folks in other industries who they may need. They may need that area of expertise. Um, I can even herald individuals within my firm. So there's things outside of what I can provide for my business clients or individual clients, but someone in our, in our office or somewhere in the SEK can, um, can better assist them. So I'm able to make those introductions, uh, herald again, those referral sources or other people within the firm. I also am heralding with my clients when I'm introducing them to team members of mine who will be assisting them along the way. And, uh, you know, even as, so it's not, it's there in the business world. Um, it's also outside of that, you know, using heralding as an opportunity to connect good people, um, you know, for whatever reason that may be, yeah. might be friends, uh, family to, you know, people that I've had success with, um, you know, using as a contractor or, you know, for any other reason, but it, it's helped me both professionally and personally. Yeah. Great. It's just that difference between kind of a neutral, Hey, my name is Daryl. Daryl, this is Nathan. Nathan, this is Daryl and something that goes above and beyond and, and starts you off on a better foot. Nathan, you're, you're an old school TCG guy. So how, how have you been incorporating it? Yeah. Well, I'll kind of start with, and it's probably an experience we've all gone through, but hearing from a contact of ours, Oh, I told you, or I told so-and-so about you, or I gave so-and-so your business card and you never hear from those people because they don't know how to properly do it. And you realize uh, how ineffective those um, methods are until you start flipping the script yourself. So uh, for me, I think a lot of it really boils down to trust in the existing relationship that you have with the person that you are trying to um, herald somebody uh, for. And um, if that trust is there, that's what we've found. And then if we just speak with conviction around why this individual needs to be introduced or heralded to this particular person, uh, that uh, that makes all the difference. And I mean, Daryl hit, I think, the nail on the head with um, it, it. So many times I think we focus on, uh, on it from maybe a uh, prospecting standpoint of, of trying to introduce a new potential client or maybe a new revenue stream, but it's across the board. You're talking about uh, instilling confidence in your team members that are going to be interacting with other individuals and, you know, anybody, uh, anybody that you really want to have an engagement with uh, somebody that you, you trust and has already put their trust in you. It uh, needs to be a focus. Yeah. And that's such a huge component, especially for business owners or managers who, who have a team that has the team do work for them to be able to take that credibility and share that credibility with their team. Because oftentimes our team members are better at, at things that ideally they are better at things than we are. And you want to take that credibility that you've earned with the client or the prospect and say, look, I'm going to hand you off to Nathan here because Nathan's better at this than I am. And I want you to take that credibility and, and move it forward. And it changes the dynamic when things begin. And if I can add to that, Dale, and just quickly. So as I morphed, yeah. you know, I, I went from a role where I was the primary or sole person that was responsible for most of the stuff that was happening to now the team of people underneath me. So I had to learn to do that well to yeah. be able to instill the confidence in not just my team members, but the fact that more more you know, faces and more individuals were at, at play in the relationship. Yeah. That's such an important point for for team leaders and business owners, because often the entrepreneur is the one that carries the load, but they've got to be able to build that team around them. And any person who wants to grow a team needs to understand how to do this as a skill set. Um, so we're, we're going to get the boot here. It's time for workout, fellas. Time to put your sweatbands on. All right, so what we've done now, Daryl and Nathan have not met each other before. This is their first time to connect, and, and we're going we're gonna to put you to task a little bit here, maybe make you sweat a little bit. We've given them a little bit of information about each other, and we're going to ask them to herald each other to me. So I am the business owner. I own a multi-million dollar business, and let's put it in central PA so it's geographically located for both of you. I love to play golf, and I love to travel. And I'm looking for a new accountant for my company. And I'm also looking for a financial advisor to help me with succession planning. I'm, I've got some kids that I'd like to move forward with. Um, so 
Let's start. Daryl, we're going to give you, again, we've given you some general information. We're going to have you introduce, you're going to have you herald me, or herald Nathan, to me as the business owner, as a potential prospect. All right. Hey, Dale, as we spoke before, I know you're looking for someone who can help you and your business with succession planning. You know, I can only do so much. Um, but because of that, I want to introduce you to Nathan and Bowden, who is a good friend of mine, and I think he will serve you well in helping you accomplish those goals. Nathan is a graduate from Messiah College, where he uh, received his bachelor's in business administration with a finance concentration. From there, he's gone on to become the president of Questmont, Pens or Questmont in Pennsylvania. Um, so, and I know he's located in central Pennsylvania and serves a lot of clients such as similar to you in the area. So not too far away, which is always good. Like you, I know he loves the golf. Um, I'm sure you guys can uh, get out there and play around. They say a lot of businesses conducted on the golf course. And I'm sure Nathan will have no problem, um, you know, trying to win, win you over with a round of golf. <laughs> As long as he doesn't win me on the round on the round itself, you know, I'll tell you. can't promise that, Dale. <laughs> that said, I know Nathan is also very involved with his local church. You know, loves to give back and, and participate in the community in which he serves. And like you, um, he's also a big traveler when time allows. So a lot of common interest um, there, which I think will make for a great relationship. And maybe most importantly, I know he's capable of helping you with the succession planning that you're looking for. Right. Solid job. The difference between that and saying, hey, Nathan, here's a, you know, like you said, Nathan, the business card handoff. Here's a guy I think can help. Uh, all the difference in the world. We immediately have something to talk about. We immediately have connections. We don't have to dive into business unless we want to dive into business. So great job there. Well done. Hmm. All right, Mr. Imboden, I'm looking for an accountant. Yeah. You know anybody? You know, uh, yeah, I've, I've been in this area for a while and have dealt with uh, with a lot of firms. And Dale, first, I want to say just congratulations on your success and, and the business that you've built. It's taken a lot of sweat, a lot of uh, time and energy, and you've done a, a fantastic job in uh, building that. I know you take that very seriously, and it's become really a, a huge part of your life. And uh, in knowing that you're thinking about how you're going to move forward into the, into the future and, and do that well, I want to introduce Dale and uh, his team, or Daryl, I'm sorry, and his team over at SEK. Uh, SEK is a premier firm uh, and a CPA firm here in our area. They are a multi-state firm, so they've been able to deal with uh, larger organizations as well. But um, Daryl, I think, is a great fit to, to be able to come in and um, get to know you a little bit better. Um, you guys share some common interests, first and foremost. You and I have spent some time around the golf course. Uh, I'd say we're probably 50-50, although you're a little bigger hitter than I am, but I'm trying to catch <laughs> up to you. But uh, but uh, Daryl and I have been able to, to have some uh, fun out on the golf course as well. And, uh, you know, it's a great uh, great opportunity to, to get to know each other. Um, but in addition to that, you know, Daryl uh, heads up a, a team at SDK that I think is really poised to help uh, dig into to your business and understand you better. Uh, provide uh, a much higher level of support and uh, service to you than, than what you're probably getting currently and is the right group to be able to drive you into the future. And so I think an opportunity to sit down with Daryl, learn about what he and SEK can do for you is, is really what you need to do. Excellent, Nathan. Well done. You, you even heralded me to myself. Right? I did. You, you threw a couple things in there that are going to build, make me feel good, make Daryl feel good. And that's really about... The, the way we enter into a relationship has so much impact on where that relationship goes, right? Those first minute and a half has so much impact. So I want to make sure that we recognize that and use that as an opportunity. So let's recap real quickly. I want you to try it out today, not just for prospects or handing off potential clients, but for your email people as well. Who do you herald most often? Prepare for the next time for identifying each of those components. If you've got people on your team you herald often, talk about credibility, common ground, and connection, and make sure that you know what they would like to talk about as well. And then practice. Practice out loud. Practice in the car. Practice on a walk. Practice in a boat. Practice with a goat. Whatever you do, practice and get, you can even join a professional practice group. I might know of one that I could introduce you to there and bring you involved in there. But it's a new year, so it's a new you, and implement this skill today. Make sure that you get out there and part, start to put it to use. 
Uh, join us on Thursdays right here live at LinkedIn for more communication workouts. Don't forget to practice until you can't get it wrong. Grab your complimentary playbook page in the component section down in the comments section down below, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and our blog for more communication practice tips. I want to say thank you to Daryl and Nathan for a great job today and showing what good communication practice can look like. Thank you both. Thanks for having us. We'll see. We'll Thanks, see Sam. you live. We'll see you guys live at the gym.